happy Monday here at the Madhouse. Hey, happy Monday. We're, we're live, apparently. <laughs> hey, Vin. I heard, you know what? I heard, Vic, what? I heard you in, in, in the sound room. We're going. We're live. <laughs> well, welcome tonight into the Madhouse to the Solori No Guts, No, no Glory Hour. I uh, hope everybody had a great weekend. We just want to quickly say happy birthday and thank you to Jamar Hill. We yes. were in Jersey this past weekend for A, his birthday party, yes. and B, for the script reading for his new film, Fourth Quarter, that we both have uh, small parts in. Right. Um, actually, I have the smaller of the two, which is a good thing, because scripted lines, I don't know how good I do with that, but mm -hmm. uh, you were great. Thank you. You, you were, were great, great, too. So, um, also, you were a big help. You narrated the whole movie. I, you did, I did. set all the scenes. and yeah. Yeah, I mean, you need that. When you, when you shoot a movie, I mean, I don't know how, who's out there that shot movies, but um, I'm new to it. But the, with the reading, when you sit around the table and every all the actors are there and you start reading the movie, it's it's pretty weird. But it turns out really cool. You're can, kind of picturing things in your mind and you're yeah. picturing how things mm -hmm. are going. And it's a suspense and uh, and it's going to be great. So anyway, I just want to put that aside. And um, I'm kind of disappointed that the I'm really disappointed that the Patriots advanced. But I, I guess everybody kind of knew they would. Yeah. So um, you know, it's Tom Brady. Yeah. Tom Brady. That's off to him. Five Super Bowls, three Brady. wins. I mean, yeah. oh, he's, wow. he's going to be a legend, no doubt. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I guess I brought it up. She's so. a real, real hater for the but, Patriots. Yeah, <laughs> but so now we look forward to the Super Bowl. And, you know, you hey, what do I got to, to say? I'm a Jet fan. You know? yeah. there you go. I never get to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we want to get right to it because we have um, five great guys on the couch tonight on the famed Madhouse Red Couch. And uh, so we're going to introduce them. Donnie. Hello, welcome to the Madhouse again. Hello. Um, be again, back. because yep. you've been here twice on our show yep. with Tommy Lynn and right. the Neil Diamond One Hot Night tribute thing, and uh, we want to welcome you back. Tonight, you're the top dog. Good to be here. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, top dog. Amongst uh, other top dogs, really, but yeah. I mean, you're the guy to the left, so, you know, you're going to be the... You're, you're, you're in the number one dogs. seat. You're now. in the number yeah, one right. seat, yeah. And to your left, we have Rich. Uh, Hi, Rich Hi. Foreman, Vinny. how you doing? Okay. And Brian Johnson. And then oh, we have Uncle Steve. B. Uncle B. Uncle B. Who's also our neighbor. That's right. We're going to get to that in a minute. And then we have Steve Stavros with a ST, yep. which I left out originally. And then we have Tom Dolan. Hey, Tom. Who, I'm good. How are you? And we can't hear you, Tom. See, now he's talking. <laughs> Tom said he's good. He's Tom good. said yeah, he's, he's good. good. Actually, you know, I'll, be, like I'll be his Tom, proxy. And that's okay. He, Steve's going to translate. He prefers to be the quiet, mysterious <laughs> one in the band, which every band kind of has one. So Tom's the one that we there designated tonight. And he's good with that. He likes that. So that's good. So welcome, you guys. Thank you. It's good to have you here. We should bring it up. The name of the band is Revolver. That's yes, right. let's bring it up. The, the music the of the Beatles. That's right. That's Beatle right. music. One of, one of our favorites. Right. And you know, just quickly, you guys um, on the promo earlier today, um, you, you were going back and forth with Joe Rock. Hi, Joe Rock. Mm -hmm. uh, about the Beatles, and there's so many Beatles tribute bands. But what we were saying in the green room was it doesn't matter if there are tons of Be Beatle tribute bands, because first of all, almost everybody likes the Beatles, yep. loves the Beatles, and each band in their own way interprets it how they interpret it, with, with the collaboration of musicians and stuff. So we've already had Penny Lane, we've had Helter Skelter, and now we have you guys, Revolver, and we welcome all of you guys when you're here, so thank you. You know, it's funny, all the names of the, of the bands are names of the songs, you know. You know, we went, Strawberry Fields, we right? were going yep. through that, and it was like, all right, you know, because initially, just some history. Um, we started doing Beatle shows, the three of us, Steve, Tommy, and me, in our band Nurse Diesel. And we, uh, we did the first one, I guess a couple of years ago, we just did one set out of a night. And the, re the reception we got from it was just ridiculous. Yeah. And so immediately we started planning another one. Then we did another one, and, and that's when B joined us for the the second show, and we had a guy named Joe Scolo who plays for a band called Full House, mm -hmm. playing second yeah, we guitar. Know mm -hmm. And so we did that, and went through the year. That was and that was early fourteen, and we decided, all right, let's let's really go for this. And uh, we we got another, we got a keyboard player to replace Joe because Joe's so busy he can't do it yeah. all the time, mm -hmm. and uh, did a couple of shows with that keyboard player, um, all the while still doing three-piece Beatles stuff with Diesel. And, uh, and then at the end of the year, 
we, well, at the beginning of 2014, we, we tried putting the band together. We got a song list together, we did the rehearsals, and we had a gig booked, and two days before the gig, I broke my finger. I oh, we had to I cancel everything. I do remember that, because yeah. actually you were going to come on the show much earlier. Yeah, yeah. We had you slated to come on, right. and then you had the, the same finger incident, uh. and then delayed and pushed back, but, yeah. so that pushed you guys back. It seems like broken finger on a guitar play really doesn't work <laughs> yeah. out. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it <laughs> I don't recommend it. <laughs> really. Thank God we found a donor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. But Sorry, uh, then after, <laughs> once we decided, okay, let's get back on it, and Rich, we know from uh, a lot of different bands, Rich plays with Billy Joel Tribute, he plays with a Foreigner Tribute, and... Uh, I know him from playing with a band called Rubik's Cube years ago, an 80s tribute. Sure, and, I, uh, I remember Rubik's Cube. I mm -hmm. put the word out to him. I'm like, we might be looking for a guy for a Beatles band. He's like, I'm your dude. He's yeah. Like, Don't <laughs> look at Sign me up. Sign right. me up. Nice. That's oh, my God. That's oh, my phone. Wait, I, I put, no, wait, I, did, did, did not Janet tell everybody I did, I, turn I, off your phone? I did, though. I must have hit it twice Hold and on. I didn't see it. Big girl. <laughs> Bad. But anyway, so go ahead. Well, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, we... we Finally did the full expansion to the five piece. We did our first show in October. Did one in November. And, uh, and, and, and you guys were calling yourselves Nurse Beetle because it, mm. it was an offshoot of Nurse Diesel. Right. And you and I both realized if we're going to really make this a serious thing, Nurse Beetle, no one's going to get it. Because yeah. if, they if they're not familiar with Nurse Diesel, Diesel it's like right. an in joke. So right. we said, yeah. let's get a real name for the band. And I didn't know you changed the right. name till very recently, yeah. actually. You emailed well, we me and said, by the of, way. We had a lot of. Yeah, we yeah. thought, you know. Oh, no, you guys, with the Beatles. Was it a night at practice where you guys were just kicking names around? Uh, back and forth on Facebook. Facebook. Well, Give I me have, some of them. What were some of them? I came up with Stop Blaming Yoko. That was Stop that. Blaming, blaming Yoko. Yoko. And, and that I was like, actually good. Conversely, I like Blame Yoko. <laughs> there you go. That, that one didn't fly fun. either. I'm sure I, most would probably go with yours, I think, because <laughs> I just think everybody pretty much blamed Yoko. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, poor Yoko. Yeah. Just so you know, it wasn't Yoko's fault. Right. Yeah. But well, you guys actually, you and Rich, they happen to go back from the hometown. Uh, it's and, a, a funny thing. I mentioned playing with Rubik's Cube, and right. we, we were doing a show at, at I think, Hofstra University yes. one night. At Nacho Mama's. And uh, Nacho we, uh, we came off stage for break, and I'm standing outside smoking a cigarette, and he comes out and starts talking. And Don, Don was filling in with the band that night. Yeah. I, was, okay. I was playing with them regularly. And... Uh, He's like, so you from New York? I'm like, no, I grew up in Philly. He goes, where in Philly? And I said, Bucks County. And he's like, where in Bucks County? And I mentioned the town. He's like, you're kidding me. He's like, I grew up in that. He lived two miles away from where We I went to lived. the same high school. He yeah. did wow. go to the same I mean, like, high school. And both relocated to Long ten Island years, years apart, later. But, oh, 10 years apart. I was yeah. going to say, because yeah. yeah, Rich sure graduated way before you did, right? <laughs> Many yeah. decades. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, because <laughs> if it were a small town and you were in the same age, you had to have known each other, because I'm sure it's a small town up there. Yeah, we, you know? well, we kind of missed each other, but uh, <laughs> we found each other. That's okay, and you found each other. I love telling that story, because, you know, you move from Philadelphia to New York. I've been here since forever, and just out of nowhere. And, and it's funny, I, I've played, played with bands in the city, and uh, two bass players, two guitar players, a vocalist, and a keyboard player for this band, they're all from Philadelphia. Wow. How funny is that? Well, Philly's a great place. Shout yeah, out to Philly. Yeah. Philly's got character for sure, yeah. right? <laughs> got its rough spots, and yeah. it's just a very characteristic. They also got Mark Sanchez. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, that's not so and why good. couldn't Sanchez do that when he was with the Jets? And I, and I have a quick, I have a quick story about <coughs> Brian. Now, we both happen to live, I won't say where, because um, we don't want all these stories coming. Island. But <laughs> somewhere on Long Island, in an a un, unnamed location. I know where. Brian and I happen to be neighbors for 12 years, <laughs> I think, right? At least, yeah. I've been there about 12 years. And I always, I'm in one building, he's in the other. Just a parking lot divides us. And... I always saw this eclectic looking guy go into his car, jamming it in with all these, you know, drums and bongos and everything. Come to find out after meeting you, he's in a band with you. Oh my God, it's my neighbor. We start to talk, yeah. you know, and. Um, then and she finally said hi, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, because I was shy. It only took 12 shy. years. But yeah. She, uh, but know, anyway, so it's great that, you know, I, I think that still, we're. still, with tying it with Donnie and, um, and Rich, my family's from New York and they moved to Bucks. Are you Are kidding? Really? That is very weird. They're living in my old house. <laughs> 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 I, I, I stayed in there. Um, <laughs> Me too. 
But so now we're neighbors, and I mean, well, we've always been, but now we converse, and, and you're still every couple of nights a week, I see you trucking out with all your equipment. I used to see your car, not knowing you, and thought, wow, well, first of all, the, guy, the guy's a musician, so that's pretty cool, because um, I'm a singer, and always guess I wish I'd probably talk to you sooner, and just always thought this guy's always a working musician, because his car's always loaded, jammed with stuff, so um, it's pretty cool. So and now we... One night, one night I remember... Um, I'm coming through the parking lot, and I find this cover for a microphone. It's a big, That's fuzzy right. cover thing. I says, this got to be Brian's. I went over, I stuck it on his windshield wiper. Oh, yeah. Two days later, I said, Brian, was that you? He goes, yeah, thanks, I got it. <laughs> That's so funny. But anyway, now, Steve, how, yep. so we know you guys have played together. Originally, you, Brian, and Don, right? Uh, Tommy, original? me, Tommy, Don. Don. And what did I say? Me, Tommy, and Steve. Oh, okay. It's okay. I'm all mixed up. Okay. <laughs> so then you branched out and you and you collaborated now. Made, yeah. made the five piece thing. But yep. well, we heard you at the sound check, and you guys really sound great. And um, the percussion that you add in there just just it's a whole complete dynamic to the band. You know? Well, you know, we keep saying it, and Tommy and I were were talking beforehand, and it's like a lot of the Beatles stuff without tambourine and maracas just doesn't have the feel. That's right. right. And when when we did the first show with Brian it was like he plays a lot of harmonica and we were at that time we were doing uh, the mop top Beatles stuff the early stuff and you know Lennon played a lot of harmonica yes. in those mm -hmm. days and like uh, stuff. that was pre Yoko so, yeah <laughs> then he stopped playing harmonica coincidence yeah. I, I think not. Uh, I think so uh, <laughs> just saying something to think about maybe it was Yoko yeah. something to think about maybe so now you guys, I know, um, well, we're going to mention it again before the show's out, but you have a gig this Friday, which we can't yep. wait to, to yep. see. At the, at Crooked, the Rail. Uh, Crooked Rail in, in East, East Northport, Northport on Lockfield Road. Yes. Yep. Right? Right? So we're going to urge everybody that's watching um, or that will be watching, whether it's live now or after the broadcast, that you guys come down Friday night to the Crooked Rail. It's a really good, fun, local kind of club. It's a, it's a relatively feel. new club, but they're, they're a straight-up rock club, and we were talking before the show, mm -hmm. and just saying how there aren't that many of them right. left. Right. And, uh, you know, uh, they, they've always got something going on. They've got bands every, you know, every weekend. Mm -hmm. They do an open mic. They do a jam night. Uh, they do comedy. They're, they're really, you know, they're, they're finding really their way. They're it's trying. a new club. Yeah. Right. You know, but, That's uh, awesome. Anybody that likes live music, live rock especially, should go out because they've always got somebody good that they hire. And if you like the Beatles, uh, come out Friday yeah, night. Yeah, you guys Friday have to definitely come out. What time do you guys start? Around 9.30? Uh, probably about 9.30, 10 o'clock. Till? Till? Till about 1-ish? Till we run out of songs. Like yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, then they might be playing all night. Although the last time we played there, we ran out of songs, and then we came back and played a few that we didn't know. <laughs> okay. Well, listen. That's always what? fun. We'll you guys that. are very seasoned musicians, so I'm sure as the crowd might you want you to continue playing. You know, depending they have a lot of drinks and they're having fun, you guys could play all night. Sure. That's you what's guys. good when they have a lot of yeah. drinks. You could play the ones you don't know. Oh, because oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. They'll dance to anything at that point. Right. Exactly. Well, we're gonna take a quick commercial break and um, stay with us because we'll be right back with these really cool guys. Real cool guys. Stretching under sedation or manipulation under anesthesia is a very gentle, very precise procedure to very slowly release any scar tissue that has formed as a result of a traumatic injury. Many people ask, how does this work? Will I get hurt? Will you stretch me too far? We only stretch the body part to its normal range of motion. After completing the post-MUA rehabilitation program, it's very common that our patients say to us, hey, I can play ball with my kid again. Hey, I can bowl again. Hey, I can enjoy hiking again. This is what makes it rewarding to us as practitioners.
number one fence provider on Long Island with the most inventory in stock, including vinyl, chain link, and Illumix offers a custom powder coated system that prevents rust throughout the life of the fence. We carry fence tools to the trade. We even stock wood, rail, and glass hardware as well. Shannon Gates has our very own patented locking system. The next time you need fencing of any sort, both commercial and private, give Shannon Gates a call at 631-392-4330. You can also visit our website at shannongatesinc.com. And, and we're back. We're back with the Beatles tribute band, Revolver. Revolver. You guys are awesome. So, do you guys, your whole lives were musicians? I mean, you guys started young. Most guys do, I always yeah. like to ask, because yeah. some, every once in a while you find out that somebody, yeah, I just picked up the guitar three years ago, and now, like, they're banging out. How many hands are hitting my head on that? <laughs> How many of you had the Beatles as, like, an inspiration to, to play music? Anybody? Oh Lifelong. Just, yeah, yeah life right? Long. Okay. I know you definitely said that. You all too. We've, yeah. we've had a lot of guys sit yeah. on the couch, that, and you know, and and women that say, you know, the beat. When I seen the Beatles, I had to play. Mm -hmm. Well, I go back a little further than that, and I started when I started playing guitar. It was all either soul music or surf music. Oh, okay. And okay. Kinda, kinda did it then, but when the British invasion hit, it was just like. That was it. Oh my God! Now yeah. it's time to get serious because mm -hmm. <laughs> no, there were so so many bands and everybody was so good. Yeah, and they were and so influential. Just their whole, yeah. just their whole, um, their whole everything about them—the personality, the look, the accents. Although you don't always, it doesn't transcend in their music when they when they vocalize. You can't right. really hear it a lot of times. But just like in interviews, they just had a whole different. Well, you know about the Beatles. About they, them, you, you, know? you could always tell a Beatles song, but none of their songs sound the same. That's true. You know what I mean? It's you can always say that that's the Beatles, but no two songs sound the same. Yeah. I mean, you know, go you go from yesterday to Octopus's Garden. <coughs> you know, they're they're so yeah. diverse. And when we, you think about what they their, their string of hits as they got deeper into it around around Magical Mystery Tour, they were getting away with murder <laughs> as far as oh. what they chose for singles. Mm -hmm. Strawberry Fields would not be a single today. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, probably Magical Mystery Tour wouldn't be a single today. Uh, and a lot of stuff off of Sgt. Pepper's probably wouldn't have made it either. But, uh, you know. They were they, the Beatles. In yeah, time. They were the Beatles. Yeah. If they put a exactly. song together, it was a hit. We, Steve, we, you were saying something. Once you become a musician, and we talk about this in rehearsal when we're working on a tune, is that you can hear these slight dynamics that they'll introduce or these twists, the inflections. They'll sing the same verse, but they'll sing it slightly differently. Different uh, rhythmic and they'll emphasis. Stagger it. And when you're trying to get this all in a row, and you're like, <laughs> these guys were just like, and it's tasty. It's all tasty. It's all tasty. But the second verse has this little inflection. The third verse goes back to the first verse. Right. And the first. So That's what makes them so hard so to well copy, too. You know, and their harmonies doing. were amazing. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and we've just, been uh, magical. We, we've been rehearsing pretty steadily, and it, it'll, we'll still go in, and it'll be like, we'll be doing a song for maybe the 10th, 12th time. It'll be like, you know, there's a little change here in the chords in the second verse. That doesn't happen anywhere else. Mm -hmm. But you know, There's that's, more the, to catch. that's well, the type of thing that we like to nail down. I still right. can't get the verses right and come together. Which one comes first? <laughs> Do you guys play that song? Yep. Yeah. Yep. See, I've always sang it with pretty much every band I've ever been in. Oh, shook the table. And um, every time it was time to do that song, I was like, oh, because the, the, the lyrics, and we've talked about this before with the yeah. other bands, it's just out there. There's nothing that repeats itself except for come together and <laughs> trying to remember in which order, and they're so, such obscure. Yeah. Content. And he got sued by Chuck Berry for that song. Out of me. You know, they did. Like telling a story in that song, either. so there's no beginning, middle, end. So right. It, yeah. Right. There's no story to it. Exactly. Right. It's I, just all over the place. I think I see a possible guest vocalist situation at the Crooked Rail. Mm -hmm. uh oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, just that come together. I'll do some that. harmonies with you. I was going to offer you a couple together. Come on. <laughs> yes, absolutely <laughs> love it. I love the Beatles. Actually, that's the first song I ever sang with, like, uh, I guess a makeshift band. They were, the guys were older than me. My neighbors. Yeah. She does "Can't Find Me Love" too. And oh yeah. But um, first time Beatles song for me too, so you know it's uh, inspirational. And growing up, I was a big Led Zeppelin fan, yeah. Aerosmith. I, I like the Pretenders. I mean, I liked a lot, but those are my three real bands that I loved. The, I mean, the, a lot of the Beatles were always mine, and we we had our little our little guys that we always hung around together. We had our leather coats with our the jean vests, the dungaree vests over it. Everybody had a different band: Pink Floyd, Zeppelin, The Who. 
And I always had the Beatles, Hollywood, uh, Tour 64, Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. Cool. I was like, that was my band. So you guys, any of you have children? And if so, are they musical? Because a lot of times I come to find out that um, a lot of the guests have children growing up, following right behind Tommy's them. Tommy's son is a really excellent guitar yeah, he's player. He's got a great band. Really? How old is he? He's 24. Okay, and the name of his band is? Uh, the Eastern Condition. Okay, what type of music is it? It's heavy. Heavy? It's oh, heavy, heavy. Like heavy, <laughs> progressive. Oh, like that, that screaming kind of? Yeah. yeah. They're on hiatus now. Right? So they okay. play Revolution? Oh, that's right. He doesn't have a mic. We keep talking <laughs> to him, and so, he doesn't so have a mic. The name of his son's band is The Eastern Condition. <laughs> <laughs> they're very heavy. They're awesome. Um, and they're on hiatus. They're on break right now. <laughs> and Tommy wants it. to say hi, everybody. See, listen, we make it happen no matter what it is. And we have fun, and we roll with it in the madhouse. Am I right? You know what? Life is just throw stuff no, no, that, at you. you got to be able to That's why it's the madhouse. Exactly. And before we really go any further, I really want to thank Tommy Moore, and Vicky and Tommy Mealy, because Tom Mealy, not Tommy, there's a Tom and a Tommy, for really enduring all the shit we throw you away sometimes. <laughs> and Janine, you guys. can't forget Janine. And Janine, we miss you, Janine. But anyway, I want to say thanks, because you guys always give a good sound. And, and uh, I always come last minute with things and say, uh, can yeah. we get this on? And they're running yeah. around. And so we, we all roll with it in the madhouse. Not only yeah. the guests have to you know, deal with We're stuff. like the difficult children over here in the studio. <laughs> We're, the like, uh, children. We're the problem <laughs> children. But I do notice that they put us on stools tonight, because normally on the chairs, I'm like this the whole time. And Tommy's in the background going, stop swiveling. But, um, but it's so, a lot of fun. You know, yeah. we've been here, we'll be here two years wow. in June. Awesome. We're going to have a, a big uh, to-do. We're going to have we're gonna actually, guests come on. You know, all our guests are going to be invited. We're going to have a party, and we're going to ask we're gonna a ask lot of our guests to, if they would like to, come and perform musically. Cool. Maybe each band hint, do hint. a half-hour set or something. <laughs> uh, Just throwing it at you. You know, that's what yeah, we're going to yeah. do. Yeah. So uh, we're giving you the invite now. Yeah. If the time comes and you don't have something booked, we, we, would, love, we would love it. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll get you the date in advance. Way so in now, advance. Donnie, we know we've had you here before because you also um, play for Tommy Lynn. Yeah. In uh, One Hot Night, right. which is a great show. We saw it last year. It was amazing. Yeah. And anything else? Um, because I know you guys well, are all spread you know, out. I, that's what one, of the, one of the points that I like to push with this band is, if, even if you haven't seen this band, you've probably seen us. The musicians, yeah. Right. Because, uh, I mean, I went through a, a few different tribute bands, uh, White Snake tribute, uh, mm -hmm. Def Leppard tribute, uh, the Neil Diamond thing. Tommy plays in the Neil Diamond tribute. Oh, you um, do? Okay. Yeah. Did you play at the Oakdale Theater Speak last louder. year? Speak louder. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, he did. He and said yes. And, and narrating for um, Tom tonight will be Steve. You have. Yeah, I did uh, the Dixville. <laughs> wait, can you Come bury? Close. Wait, Steve, you're supposed to be like this. Yeah. I'd... <laughs> wait, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> do more. Do more. Oh, I don't think it would be the same on. if I do it yeah, to him. Yeah, exactly. Donnie, it was like two years, I think. Yeah, yeah. two years now. Two years. Oh, so we saw you last year yes. at the Oakdale yeah, Theater. We were at that show. Fabulous. Just and uh, now, just to break it all down, I play with a few bands. Uh, Rich plays with a, a foreigner band, an 80s band, what, the Ronald Reagans from time to time? Well, I don't regularly play with uh, the Ronald Reagans. Ronald Reagans. Songs in the Attic, uh, the Billy, Billy Joel. Joel tribute. Mm -hmm. uh, Tommy and B played together with Shecky and the Twang Tones, which is a surf. Oh, yeah, sure. Surf, rock, soul. We do a Thursday soul. night early for the band. That's right. Yeah, uh, yeah. You guys throw out whatever it is you do. Thursday, six to nine. <clears throat> six to nine at Bailey's, which is on Main Street in Patchogue, correct? Yep. Right after this, I'm over, I go up to the Brick House and I'm the percussion for the open mic. We do a Monday open mic over there. Oh, oh nice. Maybe we should mm. pop by there later. That's, uh, that's every Monday from about eight thirty to uh, midnight. And is that any kind of music? Anything you want to play. Anything you want to play, really? I'm going you guys thinking are so, of going I think that's so impressive that anybody can walk up and the guys that are the <clears throat> the band well, can. Not even the band. Come up and they play. I have okay. two bass players uh, up there one night. Um, it's myself, uh, JP DeLeo, and uh, Ryan Lincoln. We, uh, we host the open mic there in the house percussion. That's great. That's and where is it? At, that's, uh, Brick house at the Brick House, also on Patchogue. Right. And, wow, that's great. And actually, Steve and Tommy and myself uh, have all appeared at one time or another with friends of yours, friends of the show, Joe Rock and the All-Stars. Oh, yes. Joe Rock and um, the All-Stars, yeah. Steve's played with, playing with Full House from time to time. So nice. it, 
from here it branches right, out right. a million different directions. Of course. Directions. You know what? It's it's um it's it's a big world and yet it's a very small world because yep. everybody knows everybody through something and that's the beauty so of it. So what what we mean is like you got musicians here that played all over with a lot of bands. They're great musicians. Come on out Friday night at the Crooked Rail on Larkfield Road in East Northport. You got you have to come. Come Just hang with out. come hang with Janet and I anyway. And watch this band. Yeah, They're amazing. And, and you know what? It's it's um I know I hate the cold weather. So even last Friday we had gone out to eighty nine North because we were introducing a couple of bands there that night. And For Fire and Ice. Right, yeah. Fire and Ice. And also Drive, the Cars band. We love you. I met Mary Beth, I love you and the band. <coughs> and then also the Jeff Regan band. And they're all gonna be on. So uh, we already booked some dates and everything. But come out, even if it's cold, you know what? Just come out because it's more fun. Once you get to the bar, you guys are going to smoke things up. It's going to get nice and hot. Drinks and, are on, uh, Vinny. We might smoke <laughs> things up on the way to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And the drinks are on, Vinny, so you can't miss these guys. They're totally seasoned. I mean, you guys have been around for a while. I'm not going to make you sound old, but you've been around, and no, you've seen it, and you've done it. <laughs> I knew I should have used that drinks are on Donnie sooner. <laughs> <laughs> Beat me to it again. Got to get up pretty <laughs> early in the morning. So throw out some Beatles trivia to them. Then you know a lot of stuff about the Beatles. We, yes. we usually like to throw out some trivia. This is for oh. Rich and Donnie. Though. Okay, uh, go. Uh, these I'll, guys I'll are you. Look one. over okay. here. He's, he's a killer. All right, who's the oldest and youngest Beatle at the same time? Well, Lennon's the oldest. I mean, Starr is the oldest, but Lennon formed the band. Right. Okay. But uh, let's see, Harrison was the youngest. Well, same, same person to be the youngest and the oldest. Same person is the youngest and the oldest. Well, in that sense, Sounds like you mean like question. Ringo because he joined the band last. There it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's the youngest Beatle, right. but the oldest Beatle. Well, that's what I said right. in the beginning. I said, I said the same thing. All right, Rich, you were right. You were right. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see, what, what do we one. have for Rich tonight as a, really? as a Lovely Mentos. Party. Mentos Print. and a lipstick. <laughs> a new Mento. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Yeah, there's so, there's so much. We usually, uh, usually have prepped all kinds of questions, but I didn't want to do the same thing again like I do on every show and throw out trivia. Well, yeah. most of the stuff I never knew until I, I had to Google it. Well, you know what? There's so with, much so. on the Beatles, you know. I yep. mean, they're just some of the things they've done, like, you know, Paul, Paul was dead and the whole Abbey Road thing and playing the songs backwards. They just, <laughs> they just, they were unique, man. And they, yeah, and they only taught for, what, two years? You know, Did you guys, nobody, none of you years. guys ever yeah. saw the Beatles? No. You're too young for that. No, my cousin Eleanor, if you're watching, my cousin Eleanor. Eleanor, twice. you better be watching. <laughs> twice? Yeah, Eleanor. Twice. 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 How that's many true. people can actually say that? That's the that's boast cool. that. That's pretty beat. cool. Yeah. My, my, my brother Ralphie uh, got to meet Paul McCartney and Thank Ringo. You. Wow. And kind of like really hang with them, you know, for a little bit. Seriously. So. Nice. Closest I came was David Peel, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he played with Lennon. Okay, Lennon, so. right? <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Right. But, um. So, and the Alessi I mean, brothers who were here on our show actually do you guys know them? played with uh, played on John Lennon's album. I remember the Alessi brothers. Yeah. Double Barnaby Bye. Yeah. Barnaby Bye. Barnaby Bye. Bye. Yeah, and they've done so much. Happy Cash from uh, uh, Blues Magoos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're Barnaby up at the... My friend Dave's the drummer in that band. In who? Barnaby Bye. Uh, no. In which band? Barnaby Bye. No, that's oh, Mike Riccadella. Well, Mike Riccadella is their drummer. Mike Riccadella used so to play with the Illusion. But Mike, Mike Riccadello played play with the illusion. Play we have to have them back into. You're starting to show your age now. Yeah. <laughs> what? They had a no now now another thing about the illusion is they had a number two hit. Yep. Before the British invasion came. Yep. And they kind of knocked them right off. So those guys hated the Beatles, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, they kind of knocked them out. Yeah. Right? yeah. So now, do you guys record? Do you write anything? I mean, I know you do the Beatles thing, but you're good musicians and you played in different stuff together. So do you do well, any of that? Well, we write as as Nurse Diesel. Uh, the three-piece band. Okay. Um, not so much. I mean, th this situation is so totally new that that you know you asked us the other day if we had any if we were going to play any video. I'm like, we're new. We really right. don't have any video. <laughs> right. Right. Um, we did have somebody come in and and shoot some video for us over the holiday, but we're still and, waiting and to get it back. We're still working on it. But you know what? Sometimes. You need to take your time with that stuff because you don't want to just throw it out right away yep. and have it be just half-assed. You want you want it to be the real deal. Take your time with it because you know what? That's how you get more jobs sure. and, and you know and how you present yourself. So that's a good thing. So take how, your time how long it. have you been together? Not long. Wow. Long you, long. This band, well, the five-piece band, less than a year. It is very recent. I mean, very uh, recent because I didn't even know you were five pieces. Yeah. Well, we started at the beginning of the year. <laughs> no, no, that's true. I really did not. Was, no. We really met like 15 minutes ago and said, "What are we doing?" <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. You guys know any Beatles? <laughs> 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 what do you know? 
Listen, this girl asked me to be on a show, and, no, but I, really and I really don't even got a band, so. I, what I thought was that you were Nurse Diesel, and then I know you had mentioned Nurse Beetle, and then I yep. thought it was still the three-piece, yep. and then it wasn't until I saw your promo picture that I actually realized that you expanded to five-piece. I just, right. I really just didn't realize All that. All right, it's stop, shame. Janet. They let them play. No, no, no. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm really saying that. So I didn't realize that you had added Brian, and, um, you know, so you expanded, yeah. and, and you're working on it. So actually, you know, actually, when we came to the studio, it was like, they were like, how are we going to accommodate uh, five singers uh, and four, five instruments? <laughs> and uh, that's ten ports and Tommy Ma. Tommy Ma put it together. Yeah. That's right. Tom Mealy, Vicky, thank, you. Tom Vicky, Mealy and Vicky. thank you so much. And for their patience, yeah. really. Yeah, really. We really it, didn't know. And you talk know about getting thrown a curve. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah. you, and everybody. Uh, thank you guys in the and control uh, And room. unfortunately, that leaves Tom... You know, in the Michaelis seat, unfortunately. But well, you look listen, good, so I, mean, I just want to tell you, yeah, we were yeah, he this, we were this close from doing a rerun. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But so you do write, you two write. Yeah. Tom and Don write. Yeah. What kind of stuff? Like, uh, um, if you had to describe it, just the general rock. Pop kind of? rock. You know. You're gonna record? Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, we're we're starting to put uh, some new stuff together now. I've been kind of demoing stuff up in my studio. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, it'll make it to the band, and then Good. sooner or later, we'll drag it out and play. Well, it tribute people. bands is where it's at right now. So tribute yeah, that bands seems to be the big thing. Yeah. I'm trying to get Janet to do a shared tribute band. So you can do that. That would work. Well, I, I talked to Tommy. Band. I talked to Tommy Lynn too about that. The only thing, my thing is, I mean, I grew up loving Cher, and I can sound like Cher. You know what I got? We got to do this now. Gotta, We got to do a commercial. But I don't like her newer, not that I don't like yeah, her newer stuff. I can't connect to her newer <laughs> stuff. I would like it if we did a shared tribute up to 1973. Just that's Dark Lady, that. Gypsy's right. Champions. Yeah, that's what and I want. Know, and Cher does a lot of uh, covers, too, Shell. Yeah. But listen, we have to take commercial. We're going to get you guys up to play. on the stage. So cool. everybody stay tuned. Listen to the Revolver. They're coming back with some good music. That's right. And fade to black. Dr. Robert Brevard. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we 15 years. We do a vast years. array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching to help her with her pain. Vicky is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicky is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000 or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. Being a fireman is more than just putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, 
like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's ladies' night in, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas. With a twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this. You'll be using it. Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. It's not, shh, trust me, I'm a professional. And last, and most important, Salsa Blue Tequila. Now, mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time. going to do a live commercial. Hi, I'm Renee Marie. I'm the uh, president of Language of Love Incorporated Foundation. I'm really happy um, to tell you that we're going to be doing a Language of Love telethon on March 29, 2015 from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Please look for uh, the location on my, um, my website, ReneeMarieLanguageOfLove.org, 
And once again, it's ReneeMarieLanguageOfLove.org. And the show um, will be on, hosted on the Madhouse TV. It really is important for you to um, be aware of strokes and aphasia. Strokes is the third leading cause of death in, the, in America and the first leading cause of disability. And it really is something that plays no favoritism. And it also really comes when you're not expecting. Nobody expects to have a stroke and nobody expects to suffer from aphasia. And it really does play a huge, make a huge impact in your life and change your life in one split second. So we look forward to having everyone join us uh, once again on March 29, 2015 from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. And you can follow us on uh, ReneeMarieLanguageOfLove.org. Once again, it's ReneeMarieLanguageOfLove.org. And we look forward to seeing you. God bless. And we're back with the band Revolver. And Donnie, I just want <laughs> just talk to you. Just let everybody know where they can find you as far as websites go, Facebook. Well, we got a website coming. Uh, it's on the way, revolverbeatlesband.com. Uh, in the meantime, you can get us on Facebook, facebook.com slash revolverny. Don't forget to check them out this Friday at about 9 at the Crooked Rail, Lockfield Road, East Northport. Guys, play us some Beatles. Thank you. 
physically machine.
fabulous. Oh my God, don't forget to check them out at the Crooked Rail this Friday night. But in the meantime, I want to tell everybody, please tune into the Wendy Williams Show tomorrow where our former guest and returning guest, Tani Belafonte, fabulous actress, is going to be on the yes. Wendy Williams Show. Catch her. Love See you, you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow.